Hi guys, it is a beautiful day out here and I've got a couple projects that I want to get done today. The first one, we're going to be working in the vegetable garden. I picked up a couple packs of radish seeds and I want to get them planted because they only take like 25 days to harvest. And so I figure we've got the bed here. It's sitting empty. The onions aren't ready. Let's plant something that we can actually harvest quickly. So we're over on the south side and we are going to be filling this entire three by four raised bed with radishes and we are going to be planting early scarlet globe radishes and french breakfast and they both take 24 24 days for the french breakfast and 25 days so basically they'll be ready to go at the same time and we're just going to prep this bed i'm going to add a little bit more raised bed mix because this bed settled like three three and a half inches down so i'm going to fill it with some more raised bed mix add some compost and some starter fertilizer and then we'll get them planted and then we are going to go out to the retaining wall and we are going to be pruning and fertilizing the sky pencil holly hedge it is looking really good though so you can see they're already starting to put on some new growth up here. So I want to get in here now and just trim them up a little bit and give them a nice dose of fertilizer so they'll be all ready for the season. Okay, we're going to get the radishes planted real quick and then we'll move on to the hedge out front. All right, guys, bed's all ready to go. We're going to get ready and plant our radishes. And according to the back of the instructions, we're going to plant them about a half an inch deep. And I'm going to just space them about two inches apart from each other. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of rows for each variety and just toss a few seeds in. And once we have about three to four inches of growth, I can come in here and thin them out as needed. And then in a few weeks, we should have some radishes. So we're out front by the retaining wall and we're going to be working on pruning and fertilizing the sky pencil holly. Now I have seen many people just come in and cut the tops off just literally straight across like a flat top and that's totally fine. I like to approach it a different way. I think it's the cosmetologist in me but I have a different approach. Let me show you what I'm going to be doing. 
So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to come in and I'm going to trim the outer branches a little bit and then as I get closer and closer towards the center I'll just gradually move up. That way we end up with a fairly even conical shape and we've taken a lot of this top growth off on the outer branches which makes them less top heavy and less likely to start splaying if they get too much rain or water on them and the center branches they will be continually growing upright so we end up with a more conical shape of a plant so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to start right here at the top center and I'm just going to determine how much I want to take off of the top. And I'm just going to take a couple inches off right there. That's all. And now from there, I can work from the inside out and gradually just come down and down a little bit more. So for this, I would probably just take just like an inch off over here. Come down to another set of leaves right there, cut them off. down there and probably come in and take a little bit more off of there And a little bit more just right off the back and this is all that I've taken off the largest part was really just right in the center but we still have that conical shape right here and you can see how they're kind of going up 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 and they're all able to stand upright a lot easier now depending on the current shape of your sky pencil will determine how you're going to make your cuts too. So for this one, you can see that a lot of the outer branches are a lot shorter and we do have a couple that are getting a little lanky towards the top. So for this one, I wouldn't really cut too much around the outside, but I would come in and take a couple of these taller branches down a little bit just in the front because the back ones are not as high. We've definitely got more height over here. And I would leave some of these shorter ones here. And then we'll end up again with a nice upright conical shape. Okay, so now for this one, you can see we've got these shorter ones out here, but we've definitely got these really tall ones here. So I'm just going to cut these down a little bit and just take some of that top growth off because it's just gonna make it a little too top heavy. And this is all that I cut off of this one. And look at it, it looks so much better now. We've still got all of this growth. I didn't touch anything over here, but I did come in and cut the top off of most of these. And I nipped the tips of some of the outer branches to kind of stimulate a little bit more growth. And now we have a more pleasantly shaped shrub. Okay, we did two, we've got 18 more to go. Here we go. Okay, we're done trimming. They look so much better now. Now we can go and fertilize. Let me show you what we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna be using Holly Tone to fertilize today. Sky pencils prefer a more slightly acidic soil and the Holly Tone is a more acid-based fertilizer. So by using the Holly Tone, we're giving, we're giving the shrubs their nourishment for the season and helping the pH of the soil. So all we're going to do, all we do is just pull the mulch back a little bit 
And then let me show you, we're gonna be sprinkling the fertilizer around the drip line. This is the drip line. You take the widest point from the shrub. That's where, if it was to rain, that's where the water would drip. And this is where we're gonna sprinkle the fertilizer all the way around. Got my fancy measuring cup and I'm just going to sprinkle a little. All around. Scratch it in. Cover it back up. It's supposed to rain in the next day or so, so I'm just gonna fertilize them all and I'll let Mother Nature water it in. All right guys, we are all done with today's projects. Let me take you around and show you what we did today. Let's start in the front yard with the Sky Pencil Holly Hedge. Came in and gave them all a little bit of a haircut and then just followed it up with some fertilizing. Get them all nice and ready for the growing season. And you can see just a little bit of pruning just on the top so they're not too top heavy. And then on this one, I left the out exterior branches alone because they were exactly the shape that I wanted. Whereas with this one, you can see I took some of the top growth off, but I also came in around the exterior and nipped some of these branches around here. And now you can see it's got a nice conical shape to it. And all of the branches are a lot sturdier. That's why I chose the layered cut as opposed to just cutting them straight across at the top because I wanted to create a network of branches where all of them are both sturdy and they're not top heavy. That way if they get hit with rain or snow, the exterior branches aren't longer than the center ones and you don't end up with branches that just start to lean over and then the overall shape just kind of gets ruined. And then over here, we planted our radishes. I've got three rows of early scarlet globes and three rows of the French breakfast radishes. Both of these will be ready to harvest in 25 days or so. And I did go and find a few more strawberry plants that I had in a hanging basket off the kitchen porch. So I pulled them out and I dotted them around here. So now we have strawberries in this bed and in that bed. And in about three weeks, we'll have radishes to harvest. And by then, our onions should be ready to go in, at least by my calculations. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.